Over the years, you've seen me travel in my RV, so you've been very familiar with all of the homes that I've had on the road and all of the remodeling that I've done for several RVs. Today's video is a little different where I'm going to show you my home and I'm going to take you for a tour inside my home during the Thanksgiving holiday and now the changes that I made for the Christmas holiday. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this video. This is the entrance to my home and this is my front porch so when you walk into my house this is the entrance here I have pictures of family here and the house is split in two so this side over here is one side and then I have my master on the other side this is the living room here and muffin just got her bath and this is what it usually looks like I have some pretty roses my roses are coming in now and I usually keep my planning stuff here or working on during the day. And then over here is the kitchen on this side. So when you come in, you see where the kitchen is. And then I have a laundry room over on this side here. This is where I keep a freezer and my washer dryer. Missy eats over here. This is where I make my bread. Her litter box is down here. And then I keep some supplies here, cleaning supplies and things. Then I have some cabinets over on this side as well. Um, and that used to be my dog before Muffin. That used to be Benji. And I made this because I used to make art and different things. And that was Muffin when she was a little baby when I first got her. All right, so we'll go back through the kitchen. You can see it's all decorated for, it's all decorated for the fall, which I love. Love, love, love decorating for the fall. And this is this area over here where you see a lot of it in my videos. So don't think this was not a process to lighten up the space, but I had to paint my furniture and many of my accessories as well. I also had to paint some things in my bathroom and in my bedroom to lighten things up. There are the two placemats. They look like two signs that I bought and they were a dollar and the foam board was a dollar. So for three dollars, I gave my whole kitchen a total different look on top and it looks awesome. Then you come in here and this is my bedroom. I changed my bedroom. I want it to be a little bit more boho, a little bit more casual. And that's the table that you see me film from every week. I film from here and I sit here and I do my Bible studies and research and stuff over on this area. My television is in here. That's where I watch TV. I open that cabinet up. I like to keep my TV in my bedroom um, put, put away. So, and that's it. And this was given to me by one of my friends in the ghost squad when I was traveling with the first trip with her and then this is my closet over here don't get shocked it's pretty big it's a walk-in closet it's pretty big um, and I have a lot of clothes in here because and a lot of shoes not too many because most of my dress shoes are up there I don't wear them anymore but I have a lot of clothes because I go through a lot of seasons and I have a mirror here too in my door This is my bathroom, so it's a two sink bathroom. I mostly use this side of the bathroom. I don't really use that side. Um, and right now it's fall, so some mornings it's cold, so I'll run my heater up to take a shower, a little portable heater. It's my bathtub, and then over here is my shower. 
and that's my shower and this is my toilet area over here as you can see I love mermaids and romantic things and then we're gonna go this way back to the living room this is where my porch is over here which I had built when I got here don't know if some of you have watched my older videos Misty's over there sitting on the porch and um, so this is the whole porch area here my garden is over there as you can see I have a lot of work to do because I have to clean it up so that I can get ready for the spring so I'm going to be working on that I have a lot of leaves in the, gar in the garden right now because the trees are uh, doing some molting and then I have some I'm working on some chairs that I'm painting they're out there you'll see them later so I remove that I'm going to be reupholstering that And my door opens pretty wide, which is nice. I keep a cabinet here, and this cabinet keeps um, a lot of my gardening supplies. I keep it in here. As you can see, fertilizers and things like that. I also have my shed back there. Um, but that that has my mowers and stuff in there. And so, yeah, so this is really cozy. This is the area that I mostly spend time in most of the time here. You see me sitting here on the chair. And a lot, of, a lot of the things that I have here are things, these are all old things. Some things from thrift stores, some things from my uncle's house, some things that I bought and I repainted. So over here, coming in from the door, on this side of the house now, this is my craft room. I love to do crafts and things, and I have things that people have sent me and made for me, and I put them here. So this is my craft room and it's all about crafts. So this is the table that I would work on and then this is the table I like to stand and craft and do different things as you can see. And I like to scrapbook, I like to knit, I like to do a lot of things which I haven't been doing a lot of lately. This winter I plan to, so here's a lot of family pictures. Here's some pictures of Christian when he was little. So I'd scrapbook this one, some family pictures up there. This is actually Christian's Romania picture. That was the first picture he, they were sending me from when I was going to adopt him. Um, but right before I got him, that was the picture. And then here is some family pictures as well that I also scrapbooked and I put in here. And I just keep some audio tapes and stuff old, that are old here. So here's a bathroom. This is the this is Christian's bathroom. So I still have his his stuff is still here. It's just size room. If somebody wants to sleep, this uh, turns into a bed, but it's very thin, so I have other options for putting a bed here. And I keep my Jackery here. Missy sleeps over there during the day. She likes to sleep there. And this is where I keep my cameras, my equipment for filming. I keep all of them here. And this is it. This is the room. And I have a television here. And then I keep stuff in the closet that I just keep that for storage. And this is where I keep my light, where I'm filming for my Bible study. I keep it here and then I bring it into my room. And that's it. That's my house. It's a small house. It's about 1,700 square feet. But it's perfect. My other house was way too big for me. And I just love it. And that's why I got the Airstream, because I thought that could be a guest house. And let's go on the outside. Here's the Airstream. And these chairs I also have to paint and reupholster. So here's the side of the house and here's the fence area. So if you can see, I have a pretty garden up in the front with flowers. Oh, acre here is mine. Right here. It's a beautiful acre. It has a beautiful view. During the fall, my roses come in and I enjoy using the petals to make my own rose water for my skin. And I'll do a video in the future showing you how I do that. And that's the other acre that's there. And some chairs that I sit back there. It's really beautiful. I love living here. It's fantastic. The white fence is all mine. All right, so this is my Christmas decorations. I'm just gonna show you really briefly how I decorated for Christmas this year because you saw the fall. So that's what you saw when I'm filming from here. I didn't do anything in the bedroom, so just I just just a little bit of stuff, not a lot. Super cozy though. Um, that's basically it, what I did for the holidays. 
And uh, here's the decorations for the kitchen. did put up the little tree that Missy is always getting into and there she's right here and I just put a little bit of decoration not a lot all right so here's what I did with the porch totally changed the porch around so Super cozy. Most of the time, I'm laying there. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can see that a lot of hard work goes into making a house a home. And I just love being here because this is my home, even though my RV is my home away from home. And I hope you feel like that too about your home and about your RV. Have a wonderful, wonderful new year enjoying all of those blessings that God has given you. And with that said, I thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.